Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Um, I talk a lot about setting up an emergency kit. And if you've been to my website, you know I've got the Skinny Pigs 1 video about how to set up your emergency kit. And you've probably seen all the links uh, to supplies that you can order. Uh, and they'll just be shipped right to you. But what about at the dollar store? You know, I've talked a lot about the 99 cent only store. Well, now I'm at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna check and see uh, what kind of supplies uh, I can get and, and I'm gonna see if I can set up an emergency kit uh, and, and see if I can do it uh, on a budget. All right. Well, let's see what we can find. Look at the different types of baby shampoo and various ointments. I'm actually gonna get some of this. Because if you can't get critical care, some baby food crushed with uh, Timothy pellets is perfect. Various cheap bottle cleaners. I really like the bottle cleaner uh, that I've got on my website by Lixit. It's only a couple bucks more. It's three dollars. But it's designed for water bottles. Yeah. Fleece blanket in a pinch, that could do. So here there's some pens and highlighters and office supplies and uh, notebooks and things in case you have to write down important information like medicine or just various things. Bunch of different kinds of nail clippers and files, emery boards, some adhesive bandages and more ointments and creams and all these q-tips had plastic okay here's some that are just paper based I'll grab some of those don't need any more plastic stuck in landfills rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide to clean wounds good Oh, uh, look at all that shampoo. I prefer the dander shampoo, which is antifungal. It has this zinc ingredient. Both of them have it, so either one's fine. An LED flashlight like this can help you see in your guinea pig's mouth or ears or in a situation where you need more light. This toolbox could be an option for keeping all your supplies in, if that's your thing. Okay, what else? Look, the knee pads uh, for when you're getting down. Uh, fixing the cage oh, and puppy pads or right puppy absorbent pads Some food bowls anti-flip dishes coconut oil can be really helpful in a lot of situations it's good for board cleaning and generally for dry skin like baby food applesauce can be mixed into crushed pellets or critical care to make it taste more appealing especially if they're on critical care for a while. Here's some little pouches to put syringes and little things in. And a bunch of different containers, like shoe boxes that you can also bathe your piggies in. Different trash bags. I can personally vouch for these uh, kitchen bags, but some of the other bags are probably kind of flimsy. So I don't want to take any chances when it's pine shavings and poop. Speaking of which, look at all this uh, cleaning supplies. You got your dust pans. Definitely going to need a dust pan for sure. So look at all the stuff I got. And, you know, I could have gotten more. There was a lot of stuff that I already had that I showed you. But, um, look. So I got some hydrogen peroxide and some isopropyl alcohol. That's really good for cleaning any wounds that may happen uh, whether you get bit or your piggies get bit the dandruff shampoo as I've mentioned many times is great for killing the anti the uh, the ringworm and then the uh, antifungal cream uh, is this one so I also got a bunch of different types of gauzes so like here's an elastic bandage and then some gauze and some athletic tape so this would be good for uh, ringworm or mange mites uh, I really like 
the type of uh, stretchy elastic that I used for nails that I've got a link to it on my website it's for horses uh, and it is the medical grades medical wraps uh, I'm sure it's far superior to this but in a pinch this would do the trick a simple nail clipper q-tips uh, triple antibiotic ointment look coconut oil um, I'm not sure if it's cold pressed or really fancy but uh, again, in a pinch, uh, this is a great treatment for uh, bore cleaning as well as dry skin in general on guinea pigs. Uh, hydrocortisone cream. If you are allergic to hay or guinea pigs or you get scratched and it's itchy, this is actually for you. Um, and look, this is a little pouch so that you can keep a... Uh, any of these things uh, from flying around. So I'll see what stuff fits in there. And I'm gonna set this little kit up also with some of the other stuff that I've already accumulated. And we'll take a look at it. I'm excited. And then this is a little bin to keep it all in. Uh, the baby food, you can use baby food or applesauce and you mix it with uh, crushed pellets. And that's a really good substitute for critical care in a pinch. This one was even organic and not expired. <laughs> so I was able to fit the clippers and all the ointments and the gauze and the tape and all that stuff in there. Look at that, very nice. Look at that. I was able to get everything that I bought stuffed in here except for the hydrogen peroxide. And then here's uh, some other supplies that um, I think are important to have that you probably can't find at the dollar store, but these are really, really important. Okay, so first, as I mentioned, critical care. Um, critical care is an emergency food. You mix with water and you put it in a syringe. These syringes are okay. Uh, it's nice if it has a little narrow uh, end, you can cut the tip off so that it will flow more freely or you can sometimes serve it uh, with a spoon. There's many ways to serve it and you can serve it at different consistencies. While we're talking about emergency food like that, um, Sherwood, which is a, another food company, makes uh, a recovery food. This is similar to the Oxbow Critical Care. Um, it has more organic ingredients, but you may find that it doesn't also have uh, quite a, a, the same sweet flavor. Um, with both of these, I found that, especially for long-term use, it helps if you mix some applesauce or baby food, which is why I have some in there, um, because it makes it taste a lot better for your piggies. You could even mix a little bit of the vitamin C. And the vitamin C I recommend is the liquid vitamin C. You can search my previous videos. I've done videos on almost all of these supplies. So uh, this is um, a generic version. I've got tape on here because I had taped it to Nails' travel cage. But this is children's Benadryl, basically a generic version. And you can give... Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 to a guinea pig that's very, very itchy or having um, certain type of symptoms such as uh, itching or even sneezing. But uh, really, this is more for that kind of a itching, itch relief. It calms them down. Um, so you can find this at the dollar store sometimes, or at Walmart, or in any drugstore. Okay, um, same thing with the little remedies. I haven't seen this at the dollar store, but in every drugstore that's 24 hours, you can get little remedies gas drops. And if you come home and your piggy is bloated and you tap them on the belly and it sounds very hollow, uh, this is uh, very important because that is a dangerous, dangerous situation to be in for your piggy. Um, and this can be a lifesaver that can just help them reduce the gas until they can get to a vet. You definitely, if your piggies are that bloated, you want to get them to a vet as soon as possible. 
the vet has the vet has ways of getting the gas out. The vet can give your guinea pig an injection and also um, a little bit stronger gas medicine. But this can save your piggy's life. Okay, so highly recommend that. Like I said before, there's links to all this stuff on my website, Scotty's Animals. It's also great to have a, a couple different types of syringes, and I'm going to put these in my little pouch. Um, for vitamin C, one full syringe. Uh, one syringe, these are one milliliter syringes. And then this one is a much larger 10 milliliter syringe, and they come in all sizes. So you can get a five. Uh, they come in all shapes and sizes, I'm sure. Okay, so this is the styptic powder. This is important for stopping the bleeding when you're clipping your guinea pig's nails. Even if you barely clip the quick, uh, guinea pigs can sometimes bleed a lot. And this stops the bleeding. Even if it doesn't hurt them, they still bleed a lot. And believe me, it doesn't hurt them. So I'm, I want to encourage that you clip your own guinea pig's nails and this is a way to be sure that uh, nothing will go wrong. They even have a, a version that has a, a pain relief on it but uh, guinea pigs very often you'll clip their nails too close and they won't even they won't even make a noise. I want to mention one other thing saline solution is a great thing to have in your kit uh, if your guinea pig gets a piece of hay stuck in their eye it's just an inert solution uh, and it comes out with a, you know, a fast squirt. So uh, instead of just using water in a syringe, um, the saline solution is a is a sterile way uh, that you can uh, clean in certain situations. So I like it. This is just a little baby dropper. I haven't used it because I like these syringes better. Um, so that's pretty much it. So all of this right here was $15, that's 15 items. We're talking from the antifungal cream, the triple antibiotic, all the different wraps, the nail clippers, antifungal shampoo, right? The Q-tips and the baby food and the alcohol and the hydrogen peroxide and the coconut oil. All this stuff, $15. So you can see it's not that difficult to set up a nice emergency kit to cover a lot of different situations at home. And not only will you be more prepared when an emergency arises, but in the meantime, you'll have that peace of mind from knowing that you'll be more prepared for any given situation. Because it's not just about having the supplies, but it's about knowing the symptoms and when to use them and being ready. So I encourage you to start assembling your emergency kit. You don't have to go to the dollar store, but it's amazing what you'll find there. You don't have to spend any more money than that. Um, so get out there and do it. Don't be afraid you know, of illness or things like that. Some people at the rescue, they're like, I don't want to think about my piggy being sick. But it's a sign of love to show them that you'll be prepared. Maybe that's just the Boy Scout in me that always wants to be prepared. But really, I encourage you, check out my website. I've got all the links there. And the Skinny Pigs 1 emergency medical kit video is on my website there with permission. So go for it. Uh, there's no reason to delay in starting to build your emergency kit.